So I came across this little gem today. I know you're looking at this like what pulls for what are we looking at? Well, apparently this is a flamethrower. Yes. <laughs> this is a flamethrower that you can mount on your AR on any Picatinny rail, right? I mean, it's kind of big, right? Probably going to be a little heavy. It's going to get in the way a little bit, right? You got to you got to uh bring your fuel with you. But this is a flamethrower that shoots 25 feet and will give you a continuous flame for, it says, over 20 seconds. Holy shit. Did you guys know that you could get a flamethrower for your AK, your AR, your anything with a Picatinny? Wait, I shouldn't have said AK because those do not have a Picatinny rail. Uh, yeah, this is going to be for an AR as seen in the pictures, but... I clicked on this because I was like, well, what is this? What is this going to help you do? Is this going to, uh, what? And then, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a flamethrower. Now, I really wish that they would have actually shown it being used, right, for AR-15s or any firearm with Picatinny rail under the barrel. I am so tempted. I am so tempted. <laughs> I am so tempted right now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, I don't know what to think about this thing. Um, $689. You know, that's not too bad. That's not too bad if you, you know, actually need a flamethrower for something. I don't really see what you could do with this. I mean, uh, it's not like you're going to take this to the range. <laughs> Let's burn some paper targets. Oh my goodness, they would die if I walked in with this thing. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to shoot it. It's just, uh, uh, I, pu I put this on for some extra weight on the barrel to mitigate recoil. Yeah, yeah. Can you guys uh, let me go in the, uh, in the booth where no one's around, please? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I really wish they actually showed the thing like, uh, you know, actually being used. Look at that. It looks heavy. I'm not going to lie. That looks heavy, but uh, it looks a lot lighter than uh, the World War II setups where Homeboy was carrying like a scuba tank on his back filled with fuel. Man, uh, anybody have any actual application for this? Leave me a comment. Or anybody actually have one of these? Leave me a comment. Let me know. I would love to know how well this thing works. Um, it would make a great YouTube video. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Maybe if they make it a little bit smaller, thing looks like it weighs five pounds on its own. I would love to shoot that video for you guys. Anybody from Exothermic Technologies, <laughs> send me this. I would love to test it. <laughs> if anybody feels like sponsoring the channel right now, this is, this is your chance to step up. <laughs> Later, everybody, and have an awesome New Year.